Hey, I'm William. Today we're going to show you how to test and replace the pressure sensor on your Samsung top load washer. If your washer is overfilling, not filling enough, or you're getting an error code, it might be time to check or replace this part. Now before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful appliance repair guides. Let's get started. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. For today's work, we'll need a multimeter, a Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your top load washer by either unplugging it or switching off the breaker. Before we open up the washer, we are pressing temperature, spin, rinse, and spin again. Then rotating the selector knob until 007 shows on the display to do a frequency test. This shows what the pressure sensor is sensing, and we're looking for a reading between 25 to 26 kilohertz. We're going to turn the washer off and unplug the power cord. We're grabbing our Phillips screwdriver and removing the five Phillips screws along the back of the console panel. With the screws removed, the back half of the console will pull away from the console assembly and we can set it to the front. The front console will lift up at the back and we can rotate it so that the face is down. We may have to lift the lid in order to do this. We are setting our meter to resistance, which looks like an upside down horseshoe. If you'd like a refresher on how to use a multimeter, we've put together a comprehensive tutorial for you, so check out the link in the description. We are disconnecting the wire connection from the pressure sensor and testing the pressure sensor from pin 1 to pin 3. We should see resistance between 15 to 35 ohms. If the pressure sensor did not have a good frequency reading or it failed a resistance test, the pressure sensor would need to be replaced. If it passed both tests, something else may be causing your washer to not operate properly. We are going to pry the mounting tabs of the pressure sensor away while we lift up the pressure sensor and move it out. We're now going to grab our pliers and we're going to move the retaining clip down the hose so that way we can pull it free. Here's the old pressure sensor and here's the new one. If you've already got one, great. If not, you can pick one up at AppliancePartsPros.com. We are connecting the pressure hose and securing it with the retainer. Now we are pressing the pressure sensor down into place. We are connecting the wires onto the pressure sensor. We are grabbing the console and rotating it into the top panel, lifting the lid a little bit just to slide it in. Now we are securing the back console panel back to the console with the screws that we removed earlier and then plugging the power cord back in. With that, we are done. Great job tackling the pressure sensor on your Samsung top load washer. We're eager to hear about your repair experience, so feel free to share your story in the comments below. If you discovered that you need a new pressure sensor or any other part, simply grab your washer's model number and visit AppliancePartsPros.com. All parts are readily available and most orders arrive within just a couple of days. Thanks for choosing us as your do-it-yourself repair guide, and we look forward to helping you with your next project.